I have never been traumatized the way I was yesterday. Up till now, I'm still finding it very difficult to believe that Junio Pope is no more. I have never... I used to hear of mental health. I used to hear of depression. I used to hear of all these things. Eh? I've never experienced them. Let me tell you the truth. But you see, that of mental health, I experienced it yesterday. At some point, I became confused. My whole body was shivering. I could not write anything properly. I was behaving like a mad woman. I could not even understand what was happening. All I just wanted to hear is that all these things are rumors. They have prank, now prank, then they prank. That they are trying to promote their movie. I just wanted it to be like that. I wanted it to be a prank or whatever they call it. Let it be that they are using this content. Let it be content. Yes, they want to use it to promote the movie. I wanted it to end that way. I wanted it by all means, but at the end of the day, at some point when we heard the story that, yeah, he's back to life, I became so happy. That was when I now got up to go and bathe. I became happy and I relaxed. I was not able to eat because from the moment I heard this story, I could not concentrate again until I heard that he has came he came back to life. Only for me again to hear, started hearing a different story. That was when I couldn't control myself anymore. That was when I could not type anymore. I don't even know what to say again. So in all of this now, this woman now, this young woman now, is going to become a widow. Eh? So in all of this, this woman now, as young as she is, she's not a widow. Widow. No husband anymore. What is happening? Why are our men dying so untimely? What is going on? I can't understand what is happening. So like this, this girl now, don't turn to widow. We were crying of Mobad that left a 23-year-old girl widow. Now this one again, how do we explain this? God, what is going on? What is happening? So like this now, this girl now, this girl now, she will now begin to survive at the mercy of other men. Or I, I don't even know what to say at this point. I've been trying to control myself. I've been trying to understand what happened. I don't know. I've never, I've never been, I've never been shocked like this all my life. I don't know why this whole thing is making me. I don't even want to make video because I don't even know anything to talk. Like, I don't know. I don't know anything to talk. So, God, you want to take away all the men who will take care of these women? Who will take care of these women? How are they going to survive? Who will take care of their children? Why did you allow this thing to happen? Upon all the prayers, yes, it's time for us to ask you a question. Why did you allow it to happen? We all prayed. We prayed. I personally promise to give you something very beautiful, bountiful. I promise that even on social media, go to Kitty's page, you saw. I promise, I said, Lord, if you restore this guy, I am going to give you something very beautiful. What happened? Why did you allow this thing to happen? Why? We have to ask questions at this point. Because Nigerians prayed, everybody prayed. Everybody, all, everybody, all hands were on deck. We all were praying to God to salvage this situation because I cannot understand how this woman, I don't know, why is it going to be possible? We were all praying, believing in miracle, believing in the things you can do to us. We believe so much that you would do something. You didn't do anything. God, why? 
they said we should not question you. But at this point, it's important we ask questions. Does it mean you no longer hear prayers? You don't answer prayers? Does it mean that you no longer listen? You don't hear? You know they hear us talk again. I've been mean, awaiting. So this woman now is going to become a widow. Tomorrow night, the kind of men that are not supposed to be talking to her now will start to talk to her. Because she's no she doesn't have any umbrella on her head again. All the umbrellas they are removing them. Who is going to shed them? Who is going to protect them? Who is going to cut them? I've been trying not to cry. Let it not look as if I'm shedding crocodile tears. I tried all I could not to shed tears. I didn't want to even make any video. Because I know social media, sometimes they will be like, how did you set camera and you were crying? But tears come on its own without you forcing them. I'm not this kind of person that is always so emotional. But this particular one, bam, this one is too much. This is too much. Young widows everywhere. Young widows here and there. Where are their husbands? Young widows here and there. Where are their husbands? How are they going to manage? 